Today we're going to make some tablet, just ordinary Scottish tablet. So straight away, 125 grams of butter into a, a big pan. You're needing a good solid base pan for this because it obviously will get very, very hot. 250 mils of milk, full fat milk, and a kilo of sugar. The whole lot. This is a two kilo bag, so don't make that mistake. But uh, a kilo of sugar, please. Just. Now, what we're going to do is just melt this and then bring it to the to the boil. So it'll take a minute or two just for everything to come together. So just whilst we're waiting on it melting, I had already heated the ring, so fingers crossed it won't take too long. But I think firstly, what I'm going to say is, I don't want your bill sent from the dentist to me, please. And obviously, it didn't be eaten all at once, because as though this isn't sweet enough looking, we're going to eventually add a tin of condensed milk to it, so a little bit at a time. In fact, maybe we should challenge ourselves and see if uh, it can last just about as long as the lockdown that we're currently at. What day are we on? The 15th of April. So let's see how long we can actually make our tablet last once it's made, especially in this house, because I'm the only person that eats it. So that's not really very handy. And all the dentist appointments and that have all been cancelled just now, so definitely con canny. Like I say, this will take a couple of minutes just to, but you can see Kenny already, it's starting to, to melt. Now, probably ideally it should be unsalted butter, but I just use whatever I've got in the house. As long as it is butter, then it will be absolutely fine. Now, I don't know if you're needing me to be keeping going just now. Like I say, it'll take a couple of minutes to come to the boil. When this does actually come to the boil at this stage, you're just putting the lid on and turning it back and letting it bubble for 10 minutes and uh, then we will come back at that point and do the next stage. So I think we will just leave it at this just now and once this comes to the bubble, like I say, I'll put the lid on, time it for 10 minutes and we'll come back at that point. So we'll see you in a minute. Okay, it's been 10 minutes now. Kenny, I don't know if you want to come in and just have a look at this because when I say that you're boiling it for 10 minutes, you have to come and stir it just every every so often, just every two or three minutes, but have a look at this. We're like Mount Vesuvius. So it is obviously extremely hot, so be very careful with it. Now I'm going to just put the heat up again, which might sound a bit strange, but that's because we're literally about to reduce the heat by putting in your tin of condensed milk. Condensed milk's always intrigued me, I love it. I could just actually eat it straight out of the tin, but I think I've probably said that before. My granny used to tell us to bring in condensed milk for our coffee or our tea, but I don't know if she really meant condensed milk or if she really meant evaporated milk. We always brought in evaporated milk. But just actually, just talking about evaporated milk, here we go, talking rubbish again, Kenny. But can somebody tell me why evaporated milk, a tin of evaporated milk, is called evaporated milk? Because your logic would tell you if it was evaporated and you opened the tin there'd be nothing in it. Now condensed milk kind of makes sense to me because obviously it's been mixed with sugar and it's been condensed, thickened, made smaller. But evaporated milk, that just blows my mind. It's one of these stupid things that just drives me mad. So if anybody can tell me out there why evaporated milk is called it, just let me know. Now at this point, I would advise if you're not very good at standing, bring in a stool. If you're not very good at standing and stirring, make sure you do it with a helper in the house. Because once this comes back to the boil, you're actually going to have to stand and stir this for 20 minutes. And it doesn't sound that long, but when you're standing stirring it, it is quite a long time. It will darken. You'll start to see it darkening over the 20 minutes. And you'll also realise why it's in such a big pot, because it will rise. Now, if you use just an ordinary big saucepan, you'll run the risk of it actually rising over the top. So you'd constantly be taking it off, you know, the heat putting it onto the cool. And uh, if you've got a big pot, use that. But we're back at the bubble here, Kenny, if you want to just, it's starting to come out. Now you have to 
boil this, stirring it constantly for the 20 minutes, can't mind if I say to stir it constantly, uh, for 20 minutes at quite a hard bubble. You know, it's really got to work. So I'll just keep stirring it. I'll probably be like a, a sort of sweaty whatever by the time you come back. But anyway, I'll be all flushed and hot. But I'll keep stirring this for 20 minutes. Give Kenny a sit down and uh, we'll see you again in a wee while. Okay then, Kenny, if you could just very quickly come forward and you'll just see how dark it has actually gone. Now at this point, it's up to yourself. I like to put vanilla essence in it. Not everybody does. I'll just take it off the heat for a second and then in with half a teaspoon just. Quick stir in. Now this will make it look like you've maybe got a couple of wee brownie bits in it, which is why if you're putting it, you know, if you're giving it to it as gifts and that, don't always put the vanilla in. But you'll hear it. Now I don't know if you'll pick it up, Ken. If we could just, if you hear it, like if I do this, it's like you can hear the sugar sticking. Hear it? And that's how you know your tablet's ready. It's starting to stick already to the sides of the pan. Just have your dish ready, uh, 25 by 35, 30 by 30 thereabouts and then pop it into your dish, leave it set, come back, you know, once it's cooled a wee bit, mark out your squares, I'm not actually going to do it on this just because I'm wanting to put this over here because I don't want it burning my unit. Um, after half an hour or so, come through and score it and then let it go completely cold and then just actually Put it in your bag, serve it around your neighbours if you don't want to be like me and eat it all yourself. But anyway, there's your recipe for Scottish tablet. Thank you for watching as always. And if you need help with the recipes and things, you'll get it in theartmenews.scot. Uh, give us a wee follow on YouTube, leave a wee message or whatever, and let us know how you get on. And thanks for the request for that. I enjoy doing it. So hope you enjoy it. Give it a bash. Bye.